While Elon Musk plans to keep on electric trucking, don't expect him to pick up hitchhiking Bill Gates. The latest beef between the billionaires bubbled up on Twitter when the Tesla CEO responded to the Microsoft co-founder's recent take on the viability of electric semi-trucks. Responding to a tweet, Musk said Gates has no clue when it comes to electric trucks. Musk was apparently worked up over an August 24th Gates Notes blog post, in which Gates wrote about the great progress that's been made on electric vehicles. Gates said batteries are getting cheaper and increased competition has created more choices for customers. But even if the short-haul travel option further develops into a long-haul answer, EVs will probably never be practical solution for things like 18-wheelers, cargo ships, and passenger jets. Stay tuned and get to know about Elon Musk and his relation with Bill Gates. Hello and welcome to Elon Musk Daily. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell to get updated with technology trends. We bring you the video related to clash between Elon Musk and Bill Gates. So stick till the end. Gates said that the problem is that batteries are big and heavy, and the more weight you're trying to move, the more batteries you need to power the vehicle. But the more batteries you use, the more weight you add, and the more power you need. Electricity works when you need to cover a short distance, but we need a different solution for heavy long-haul vehicles. Musk and Tesla first revealed the semi-plan back in 2017. It is said they are two years behind schedule and now slated to be shipped to buyers in 2021. Bill Gates bought an electric car, but while he is given Tesla credit for pushing other car makers to go electric, it does seem notable that he didn't buy from the company that pushed the innovation. He bought a Porsche Taycan. Musk has also bumped Twitter heads with Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos, previously ripped Gates for his purchase of a Porsche Taycan as his first electric vehicle. My conversation with Gates has been underwhelming, to be honest, Musk said in a tweet. The criticism goes both ways, thanks to Musk's controversial opinions on the coronavirus pandemic. Gates told CNBC that while Musk makes a great electric car and his rockets work well, a high level of outrageous comments are part of the Tesla CEO's positioning. In his latest blog post, Gates notes, Microsoft co-founder said that the electric vehicles could make the biggest difference in the fight for climate change, but Gates did not mention Tesla among the key EV makers, refreshing memories of his differences with Elon Musk. World's second richest billionaire and co-founder of Microsoft, Bill Gates, used his blog post, Gates Notes, to say that electric vehicle revolution has certainly begun and that it could become one of the most important tools to fight climate change. However, his apparent differences with Tesla CEO Elon Musk was once again exposed when he decided not to mention the American EV giant among key EV makers. Advocating for electric vehicles, Gates wrote, Switching to electric vehicles and alternative fuels is the most effective way we can move toward zero emissions from the transportation sector. He also said that, When most people picture what contributes to climate change, vehicles are one of the first things that come to mind. Gates reminds readers that in the United States, transportation is the number one contributor to emissions. But you might be surprised to learn that it only contributes 16% of global emissions. That's a smaller percentage than how we plug in, grow things, and make things. Still, decarbonizing how we move around is essential if we're going to get to zero net emissions, said Gates in his blog post. He went on to say that cheaper batteries are the way to make electric vehicles more acceptable to the mainstream. He wrote that the batteries that power them have seen a 85% price drop since 2010, so they're getting more affordable to purchase, although they are still more expensive than gas-based options. Plus, increased competition in the market means that there are more choices available to customers than ever before, from compact sedans to sleek sports cars. But when he came to mention some of the key electric vehicle manufacturers, at least in the US, Gates did not mention Elon Musk's Tesla among the four he named. You'll even be able to buy an all-electric pickup truck soon thanks to legacy companies like GM and Ford and new car makers like Revivant and Bollinger, he wrote. Gates had earlier criticized Elon Musk, suggesting that he should probably focus on his job and let the coronavirus experts focus on theirs after Tesla CEO said that the number of deaths from COVID-19 is being overstated and that lockdowns aren't necessary. Earlier, when Gates bought an electric Porsche Taycan, Elon Musk called him underwhelming for picking an electric car over a Tesla. Musk's quip came despite Gates praising Tesla for coaxing the car industry to go electric. Climate change appears to be high on the agenda for the tech billionaire, like Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, and Bill Gates, but some are questioning whether they are focusing their efforts on the right areas. 
Broadly speaking, the three richest billionaires, who rank in the top five richest people on the planet, are all trying to develop new technologies that can reduce the world's carbon dioxide emissions. Musk is largely focused on funding carbon capture technologies. Gates is particularly bullish on nuclear energy, and Bezos has created a dedicated Bezos Earth Fund. All of them believe that technology has a major role to play in tackling climate change, and they're doing their utmost to ensure they're pushing the boundaries when it comes to climate tech. They basically think in the Iron Man way, which is that we can build the technology to innovate ourselves out of it. Christian Kroll, the founder and CEO of search engine Ecosia said, adding that they should be focusing more on planting trees. No technology will ever get there, he said in reference to trees. And on top of that, you're getting so many things for free. You're getting fertile soil, you're doing something against the biodiversity crisis, and you're helping the water cycle so you have less droughts and less floods. Global carbon dioxide emissions have soared over the last 100 years, leading to unprecedented global warming and climate change. It's wildly known that trees are among the most efficient carbon capture machines on Earth. They remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere through the chemical reaction known as photosynthesis, where they turn the gas into energy that they use to grow. Impressed trees, for example, can absorb about 103 tons of carbon a year per acre. 12 of the top 20 climate solutions relate to either agriculture or forests, according to climate nonprofit project Drawdown, which is based in San Francisco. Recently, Britain's Prince William underscored the importance of investing in nature to tackle climate change and protect our planet. We must invest in nature through reforestation, sustainable agriculture, and supporting healthy oceans, because doing so is one of the most cost-effective and impactful ways to tackling climate change, he said. It removes carbon from the atmosphere, helps build more resilient communities, tackles biodiversity loss, and protects people's livelihoods. This is crucial if our children and grandchildren are to live sustainably on our precious planet. Jake Kelly, the founder of Open Climate Fix and a former researcher at Alphabet-owned AlLab DeepMind, remarked that a mix of approaches is required. I think we need a wide range of interventions, both tech and reforestation, he said. Open Climate Fix announced Tuesday that it has raised over 500,000 pounds or $689,000 from Google. Dave Waltham, a professor in the Department of Earth Science at Royal Holloway, University of London, said that nature climate solutions like tree planting can be viewed as emergency first aid. They buy us time to develop permanent solutions, he said. New forests, for example, absorb CO2 for 40 years or so, and then reach an equilibrium. Buying time this way is immensely valuable as we still cannot produce completely climate neutral food, steel, energy, and concrete. Trees and reforestation, however, are relatively low down on the tech billionaire agenda list, according to Kroll. While the tech billionaires wouldn't necessarily be able to solve climate change by planting more trees, they could have a massive impact if they dedicated more of their capital to the matter, he said. That said, this is it for today's video. So what is your take on this matter? Tell us in the comments. If you want to see our upcoming videos, ring the bell icon, and don't forget to like our video as well. That's all from my side. Thanks for watching.